And speaking of getting our grind on, we've got Blue Flare versus Space sitting down. Do you know who's who? I think Space is on the left because he sat down first and has already picked Rosalina and Luma. That's good logic right there. <laughs> so Rosa versus Peach, two princesses sitting down here as we get things started on PS2. Have fun playing as your favorite princesses. Your favorite princesses? I love that line. <laughs> What is that from? It's just from, like, the Smash Bros. directs. <laughs> I don't remember that. You know, when they were saying Peach and Daisy have oh, okay. different gameplay styles or something. <laughs> have fun playing as your favorite princesses. On top of Rosalina. I'm already liking some of the creativity Space is throwing out with the, uh, the up throw into, like, stationary wave dash trying to catch an air dodge. Already looking to capitalize on... You know, I mean, you know, Rosa's got such fantastic vertical hitboxes. You just kind of want to, you know, you want to try and cover those air dodges. I'd like to also mention, looking at these two characters together, it really illustrates just how ginormous Rosalina She's is. so tall. Look at how huge she is compared to Peach. 5'11 <laughs> versus 6'0. Seriously, though. <laughs> I didn't even notice this until... I didn't even notice this until I saw them side by side just now. It's so funny. <laughs> Peach looks so small. All right. Well, for all of the creativity that Space has been thrown out so far, the percents are even. Blue Flare does get that forward air sending off stage, but not finding the kill just yet. Turn it to potentially reset the situation. Down Smash sending the wrong way, unfortunately. Just from the surface of it, this matchup does look like that. Oh my god! Just one more. It does look like Rosalina can be effective at, like, annoying Peach and what she wants to do in her general game plan. She's like, look at me, I'm floating around in and out of your space. And Rosalina's like, my hitboxes are gigantic. How yeah, dare you space I, me? I have, a, I have a friend. I have Luma. That being said, Rosalina's out of shield can leave something to be desired. She has a pretty decently ranged grab, and she does have up smash, but for the most part, she's kind of... She kind of doesn't deal with pressure that well. There yeah, you go. Up smash, <laughs> phantom hitting on the... Uh, oh, that's a punish. Order. That's a punish. Uh, oh, goodbye, Luma. Goodbye. Luma. <laughs> that Luma never stood a chance against Stitch Fates. That Luma got body. Shorty never stood a chance. All right. And yeah, Space has just kind of been stuck in disadvantage for this entire stock so far. Has not gotten the chance to really show that creativity that we saw him starting things out with. Jab, though, doesn't have the Luma jab, so Blue Flare's making it back to ledge just fine. We've got Peach with uh, Max Rage right now. I don't think... Yeah, not from center stage. No, uh, are gonna be killing. Oh, goodbye, Luma. Pop between a rock and a hard place. Back throws. That's a lot of pummels. Yeah. <laughs> I like Rosalina's pummel. She just smacks you in the head with her magic wand. Bop. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. I'm the best. <laughs> I miss the Toad soundboard effects. Me too. Feels like it's been forever. I can't wait to play as Toad in Super Mario Brothers Wonder. True. That's a lie. I want to play as Yoshi and Daisy. I'm pretty excited for Wonder. It looks very good. It has a very, like... It's a very good feel vibe that reminds me of yeah. like, uh, Wooly World and Kirby's Epic Yarn. Coming out in the same month as Sonic Superstars, the <laughs> Mario vs. Yeah. Sonic rivalries are back, baby. Finally. Alright, Space at ledge right now has been having a hard time getting around this ledge pressure from Blue Flare. What a cross up on the back air to still be able to get that forward throw at the ledge and the turn of conversion blue flare taking a two stock victory over space it just kind of felt like after space lost the first stock just all confidence was gone space tried to play a very defensive game plan and blue flare just got in his face and never left I agree. <laughs> but, I mean, I can see how the confidence would be shaken if you're trying to, you know, press buttons, get your way out of disadvantage, and you died a toad of all things. Like, that's rough. 
Oh, look at that big bottle of water. Is that visible if I go to the camera? It oh, is. there it is. Oh, it's beautiful. Hydrated. It's beautiful. Look at it. The framing. Uh, oh, it's the void. Oh, no. Don't look at it. You'll be lost. Eventually, it stares back. Three, All right, game two. two. Game two, One, coming in go. to Kalos. I guess space looking for a little bit more, uh, oh, I guess a, a little more space to roam around in and not just have Blue Flare in his face all of the time. Right now, having a little bit of advantage, but Blue Flare's disadvantage has just been so much better. I like even the little turnip conversion on Luma. And yeah, that's kind of the, uh, you know, the weakness of Rosa in this game is sometimes all it just takes is just one little one little slap and Luma's gone. Now you gotta play a much worse character for I think it's 13 seconds. Something like that. Yeah. And yeah. Luma I'll keep count. Cannot catch a break right now, and neither can space as Blue Flare is rocking a fantastic percent lead. We're gonna see if we can find this. Ten seconds. Ten seconds, okay. Oh, another Toad, but that does give Space the opportunity to get things started. Trying to get things going with an Air Dodge desync, but the Frying Pan just knocking Luma out of the way as well as a back air. Luma is out of the picture once again. I really feel like Space has been Luma-less a lot more than he has had Luma this whole set. These, these poor little bastards cannot catch a break. Some characters are very effective at knocking Luma's aside very quickly. Luma's ability to resist knockback is directly dependent on how much health he has. So if you've got moves that can launch him when he has no damage, those are some high-value moves. All right, Luma off the table once again. Very unfortunate because that was Space's neutral win. His time, his chance to play the game. You see, does get a good catch on the up smash. Finally, now we might be able to see Rose's juggle potential, but no, Space going for another like air dodge read F smash. The up smash caught, but it didn't kill. I'd call that a uh, Kalos backfire right there. Yeah, definitely. Back air pressure on shield. Dash attack coming through. Let's see if Space is able to get something going on this ledge trap. Blue player just perishes. Kind of missed Space the, uh, the parasol recovery. This poor Luma. Grab not gonna be finding things. Let's see, and now Space has to get out of disadvantage using the Kalos platform, but a forward air to catch the jump. Blue Flare now in a full stock lead, one stock away from taking the set. With a down tilt starter, that might not be too far away. All right, finally, Luma up smash, getting a little bit of usage. Yeah, I like these these air dodge desyncs, but it feels like Space is just, you know, giving up too much time to actually set them up, not waiting until Blue Flare gets knocked down or anything like that, just setting them up in neutral. And Blue Flare's been capitalizing on it pretty much every time. Right, looking for a juggle situation, but unfortunately, Luma still offline. Finally, some star bits coming through saying, give space some room at the ledge here to play the game. All right, some preemptive back airs to try and catch the Luma. And a turn is going to be taking Luma out. Back air not taking space out just yet. He does still have a chance. Ooh, the parry coming through on the Toad. Not getting caught for using that turnip to. Uh, too soon. There we go. Finally, the desyncs working for space. Does have a lot of rage online, so he's got a chance. Yeah, definitely not out of the realm of possibilities. Hmm. Oh. This, this zone up with the star bits. He's trying to get this little bit of chip damage going. Doesn't want to commit too early. There we go. Start to use that Rosa up air. Catch Blue Flare, mashing in disadvantage. Don't just let him get away with downers like that. 182, the percent gap is closing rapidly. 
we might be seeing a game three right here, but Luma is gone. Space has to play extremely carefully right now. That's Up some smash. of the that's some of the worst pre Oh! Ooh, he's oh, living. Baby. Told him you were living. That was such a well placed turn up. Alright, that's probably the last Luma for the game. Might be. Still not able to get these returning Lumas, oh. and he's gone. Oh! Space now alone. Oh! Army depleted, and so are his stocks. Unfortunate. Space really looked like he could have brought that to a game three. That was very exciting. I would say, near the end of that uh, game two, Space was starting to realize that Star Bits are really, really good against Peach. If you have something that's good at, like, covering the airspace that Peach wants... Oh. <laughs> By. <laughs> the airspace that Peach wants to cover, like persistently, that's really effective in this kind of a matchup. Mm -hmm. For example, when I'm playing as Wii Fit Trainer, I find Header very helpful because it covers like the short hop lane where Peach wants to be floating around in. And I'd say Star Bits are effective for that purpose too. That was a good setup. Black Air. Turn up. Dad. Goodbye. So, yeah, but. In the meantime, we've got some more hot sets coming up as we have Veets versus Re sitting down, which 